okay? I'm okay, thank you. What happened? You were in control a few moments ago when I sighted you. Abigail, I wouldn't know a better way to say this, but every time I set my eyes on you, something strange happens to my body chemistry. Something I cannot explain. <laughs> There you go again, no sister. You are never short of words. Anyway, I'm on my way. I'll see you in school tomorrow. Mm. Wait. I mean everything I just said. You're my dream girl, you know. <laughs> oh, sir. Ah. Oh. Speaking of evil, this is your dream girl. Somebody will start ravaging her for you. Kemka, I didn't notice you coming. How would you notice when all you eat, drink, and even dream of? Even if you sleep, I'm sure you sleep on it. Is that big girl? What do you mean? Exactly what you heard. Look, today's sweet girls don't need old fashioned guys like you. What they need is a guy that will give them a trip of their life. You know what I mean now? You know you baffle me with your line of reasoning. Ah. Buster, thank God for freedom of speech, democracy. But remember, we are talking about the most beautiful girl in the entire school. So you better hurry up. Oh. oh. Okay. See you in school tomorrow. We are moving into the metro tomorrow. Remember Labour Prefect too. I haven't finished this thing now. Come on, let's go and do it. Uh, go and call the police now. Uh, go and call the police because my father did not send me to school to become a laborer. Okay. Gemka, I hope you know what the labor people will do to you if he comes to find you standing here. I don't care what he does. I don't care. He can as well go to the nearest toilet and use his tongue and clean up the whole place. Uh, and if he wants this glass to be caught, he can as well do it himself. After all, tell me. Tell me, what did we do to deserve this? On the first day of a new term in school. If not coming late to school. Hey boy, walk. Go back to work. Uh -huh. You guys should look at those sitter. Huh? And be good boys. Go back to work. As for me, I'm tired. Kemuka, you know you're just asking for trouble. You're just looking for trouble for Christ's sake. God is my helper. In whom shall I bear? The labor prefect. What I will do to her, she will pack out of her mother's house and join me in the dormitory. Right. That is how you talk. Meanwhile, if they leave you alone with a girl, you won't even know the one which is her backside and the one which is her belly. Try me now, try me. The last girl that smiled at me is already two months pregnant. Okay. Is that girl a big girl that I badly want? I need her so badly. Jay. See, see her backside. The way it's moving from right to left. Left. The right. You better find something else to dream about. She has eyes only for Oster. Uju is there for grabs. 
But you have to do one thing, just one thing. You need to ask and she shall be given to you. I will seek her and I will find her. For anyone that seek it, find it. I must add within the list of my casualties. The story in town is that she is very hot in bed. <laughs> Dreamer, you're just dreaming. If you don't take time, the fire from her hot pants will consume you. If you don't take time, tell him. So you better be careful. Open your eyes. Tell him. Let me prepare. Let me prepare. Oh, you boys think that cutting grass is a laughing matter, yeah? All right. If in the next five minutes, this one is not finished, we will see if this afternoon young porridge will not be better than you by the time I finish with you. angry when you read this missive but since I entered this classroom I have not even been able to read anything my heart thumps my palms sweat I don't know what is happening to me and this happens every time I set my eyes on you I am confused please can we talk Love, Ossie. It was one boy in our school. One boy in your school? He says here his name is Osita. So it can't be just one boy in your school. Abigail, come and sit down here. You see, this kind of letter puts girls into trouble. Mama, I'm not getting into any trouble. I didn't even reply the letter. I have not said you replied it. You see, boys are after one thing. And once they get it, they quickly disappear, leaving you with a protruding stomach. 
and the burden of childbearing. Listen, my daughter, I am talking to you like this because it happened to me. And I wouldn't want you to make such mistake. Please, my daughter. Mama, nothing will happen to me. <laughs> I am warning you. You see, there's this adage that says, he who knows how to pound makes contact with the mother. He who doesn't pounds his flesh. Better be careful, please. Thank you, Mama. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Better be careful. Be careful. Lunch. I, I don't feel like having lunch. What about you? I'm leaving. I've got work to do at home. You guys are lucky to live in the dormitory. Um, can I walk you to the gates? No. Won't they punish you if you skip lunch? What are they going to do apart from asking me to cut grasses or wash plates? You seem to be doing a lot of that these days. Honestly, I don't know why I get into trouble. But I promise I will. I'll stop getting into trouble. You don't have to make me any promises. Sorry about the letter I wrote you. I didn't mean to embarrass you. And I'm also sorry about showing it to you and Helen, but I couldn't keep it to myself. It's all right. Are you, are you coming to school tomorrow? Of course, I'll be in school, won't I? out we didn't get around to that <laughs> oh what do you mean you didn't get around to that i mean i saw both of you for over two hours discussing we're doing the english assignment it's <laughs> <laughs> so funny by me ask <laughs> don't tell me you got yourself involved with osita just for two of you to do the assignment together huh oh my god <laughs> Okay, maybe you don't want to tell me. Um, did he kiss you? No. Right? Did he, like, um, make any attempt to, like, touch you? Ah, no. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why are you always behaving like this? Listen, let me tell you. Men are supposed to touch women. Okay? Listen to me. You need to get to the top of womanhood. And if Osita is not doing it, for Christ's sake, look for somebody else. There's so many handsome guys in this school, you know? <laughs> for God's sake. Mm? We just got to know each other. Besides, not ready for that kind of thing yet. Our school to finish first. We don't have time for it. And when will that be? When? Is it when you grow old? Huh? Did you? Yeah. Are you suggesting that I sleep with Osita? I can't believe you. Abigail. Abigail, listen. Listen to me, Abigail. Listen to me. I'm your friend. I will always tell you the truth. Just listen to me. Abigail. Look at me. I'm having a swell time with you, okay? Every night we do something different. Yes. You need to experience and feel it for you to understand what I'm talking about. I don't want to feel anything, and I'm shocked at you. Shocked? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Always scared. I don't know what is wrong with her. <sighs> On this girl.
Thank you. Listen to your names for your assignment notebooks. Johnson Enne. Yes, Helen Okafo. Sir. Uju Onaga. Nedu Nana. Mary Ibo. Present, sir. Emeka Ane. Mary Okeke. Samuel Oji. Nkemka Nnaji. Present. Thank you. Osita Dike and Abigail Amadi come out here. Be fast about it. Who wrote this assignment? with the intention that each person will study on his own. Yes, yes, sir. But these two assignments were written by one person. Wow. And the question I'm asking is, who amongst you wrote this assignment? Better talk. You know what is good for you? I wrote the assignment. Hey! Apart from being you are now also a big girl. I'm a big girl. You go back to your school. As for you, I'm taking you to the neighborhood. No! Thank you. But where did you get the money from? I, I saved up money from my pocket money. You are very sweet and I love you. You mean it? If I didn't, I would have said it. Well, then if, if you mean it, prove it. Prove it? Yes. Kiss me. You see, you doesn't prove that I love you. It is not right. Besides, you might get into trouble. Oh, for God's sake. How can you kiss me put us in trouble? Ebi. Ebi, we've been dating ourselves for a while now. And you've not been allowing me to touch you. I mean, what kind of relationship are we running? I'm sorry, Osi. But the time is not right for such a thing yet. When will it ever be right? Everybody else is doing it. That everybody else is jumping into bed doesn't make it right. And if you continue like this, I'll just go back. Please, have a girl. Please don't go. Please stay. Okay, please. When is your mother coming back? This evening. Alright. Try it. Let me see how it fits. Okay? Not on your life. For my eyes only. <laughs> belong to another person apart from Abigail, then I am not Osita. <laughs> How do you know it was me? You have a fragrance. I 
can perceive you in a room filled of people. Hmm. That is serious, so I can't hide anymore. Hmm. Be careful, oh. we are outside. We are in school. What have I done wrong? Have I done anything wrong? I'm only sitting beside my queen during break. And that's why I brought this for you. You must be hungry. Very hungry. I didn't eat last night and this morning. Why? I don't eat beans, and that was what they prepared last night. This morning was my turn to clean the toilet. By the time I was through, Breakfast was over. Did you tell anybody to put your food aside for you? I didn't remember. But it's okay. I mean, I'm okay with what I'm having. Better than any food I can have in the refectory. I won't be seeing you tomorrow. Why? I will be escorting my mother to the market. She wants to buy some school things for my sisters who are going back to the university. Well. Yes, I won't die until the day after tomorrow. <laughs> you sound almost as if I was being transferred out of school. How am I supposed to sound? Maybe I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. You know, I can't wait till the holidays when I can see you every day. Let's have my boys. Let's wait for the holidays when we be. Just, just, just tell us, what did she tell you? Yeah. Well, she said her mother asked that she should escort her to the market. <laughs> That's the bloody lie. <laughs> she did not go to any market. Nidu and I saw her. You know what? You know what? Let me tell you. She had her hands wrapped around the board and they were walking. Kept uh -huh. walking. Uh -huh. Moving. Uh -huh. Laughing down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> that girl has just been deceiving you. <laughs> she didn't go to any market. They do and I saw her koro koro. That was why she did not come to school. Because she wanted to be with her boyfriend. Oh see, shine your eye. Open your eye. Come on. Oscar. I told you didn't I? I told you, but you wouldn't listen. That it's only when a girl does not respect you that she leaves you and be with some other guy. Now see it. If you had taken my advice, you would have done to her what I advised that you should have done to her since. This thing's will happen. Now look at it, like I will always tell you, oh Sita. When a girl is not giving it to you, she is obviously giving it to some other person. Tell him! Talk to me! <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it? Woo! Please! Mr. Loverboy, I miss oh, her. I want to be with her. <laughs> if I were you, I would go and bring her to take whole conscience. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring her to take whole conscience. You know, what, what, what in the phone? <laughs> what's for him? Washington, D.C. <laughs> of America is Washington DC. Put me to it If the capital of America is not Washington DC, then what is it? America <laughs> does not have a capital. It is a continent. North and South America. Oh, oh please, please, happy girl. Don't try to confuse me here. If the capital of America is not Washington DC, then which country's capital is it? It is the capital of the United States of America. Are we not saying the same thing here? <laughs> so what is the difference? Nonsense. I see. Oh, I know too much. You oh my God. I see. Have 
pretty girl. I'd like to see you. To answer me or not? I do not know what has come over you, but I told you I was going to escort my mother to the market, yes. And that market ended up in a boy's house. What are you talking about? You think I don't know you're seeing someone else? You lied to me that you're going to the market with your mother and you ended up visiting a boy. You think you can fool me? You think you can cheat on me and get away with it? So this is the reason, huh? Each time I want to touch you, you keep refusing. I never knew you were giving it to someone else. But Sita, stop! How can you say something like that? And I swear I'll say whatever I want. And if you want, you can go ahead and jump into the bed of every riffraff that says hello to you. For all I care. This relationship is over. Yeah. Said that I was sleeping around and that I did not go to the market with my mother yesterday. Instead, I went to see a boy. Go to see any other boy yesterday. My first cousin, he came to the house in the morning and used their car to carry my mom and myself to the market. That was all. That was all. Yes. And because of that, he called off the relationship. Yes. I'm sure Osita's friends are at work. Mm. Don't worry. He'll come around. Do you think so? Don't worry. Oh, what else eh? to do? Let's go. What's your problem? Treat yourself with some respect. Keep treating her the way you're treating her. You see, she run after you begging, even to give you that thing that you have always asked for. Genka, this is two weeks old, so she has not looked at my face, not to talk of running down to beg me. I'm getting worried. About what? What if she gets someone else? Rubbish. Nonsense. Everybody in this school knows that she's your girlfriend. Nobody will even approach her. Listen, you think she's not feeling what you're doing to her? She is feeling it. Inside of her, she's breaking down piece by piece. Do you understand me? This talk is from a professional angle. Remember that. Well, I, I just hope you're right. You know, I, I don't want to lose her. Oh, Sita, you won't lose her. You will not lose her only if you do it my way. But if you go otherwise by begging her, you will look like a fool before her all the rest of your life. Let's go, let's go, man. let's go. Hey, 
Hey, hey, Abigail, please, can I have a word with you? Yes, what is it? Abigail, I need to find out what you did to my friend. I mean, my guy. Your guy? Yes, what's it that? I don't understand. It's just that lately, each time I mention your name in the course of our discussion, I do like the kind of words he used. You know, words like slut, bitch, words that are not really good to be used for a lady. I mean, I can even use that such words for my girlfriend. Anyway, like I was saying, if you were to be my girlfriend, I'll treat you with a lot of respect. I would even spend quality time and a lot of money on you. I would take care of those your little, little needs, you know, those things that ladies need. More than us that can even think about it. But unfortunately, you're not my girlfriend. Fortunately, I will never be. Did you all sit as friend? Now I know better. Look, look, happy girl. You don't understand. Ah! Osta, it's a small boy. He hasn't started. He doesn't even need fin. I am very experienced. You'll be surprised the kind of things that I'll teach you. Osta won't even think about it. You understand me? Take your filthy hands off me. Well, it's always like that at the beginning. But I tell you something. You better think about it very fast because there are a lot of girls out there waiting for my attention. Sorry. I'm sorry. You look worried. Are you okay? Well, I just want to tell you that I'm sorry for what is happening between you and Abby girl. I mean, she shouldn't be cheating on you. Thank you. It's okay. I mean, you're too nice for her to be treating you the way she's treating you. How should I have a boyfriend like you? You don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> no, everybody else does. You see, all my friends come back to tell me the things they do with their boyfriends. And it's so painful. Well, um, Abigail told me that she has never allowed you to touch her. You mean she did? Yes, she did. Anyway, she doesn't know what she's missing. I mean, who wouldn't want to be held and touched by you in this <laughs> You don't mean that. I do mean it, I swear. Listen, let me tell you. If I were you, I would go on a rampage and sleep with every girl in the school. I mean, every girl wants to have you by herself, including me. Hope you handled the issue of that boy that wrote you a letter the way we agreed. Yes, ma'am. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Ma Abigail, your behavior lately is amazing. Huh? Is anything wrong? No, mama. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Abigail. Please don't allow any boy to deceive you. Remember, your education is very, very important for now. Please. Mama, I've heard you. Okay. Be a good girl, eh? Give me 
driving me crazy. Look, I can't even concentrate anymore. And this one at the exam is coming up now. I can't even read. I told you. I told you that girl has her hat at her back. If any other girl had done what she did to you, she would come back begging. But now where is she? Nowhere to be found. I think that girl is not normal. Wrong. Kemka, you're wrong. I don't even know what is wrong with you. You don't have to jump into conclusion. She is all right. <laughs> okay, look at her coming. Just look at her. Uh -huh. Then go and get her. Go and get her. Damn! We to kill that boy. We told you that this girl has been flattened. You should find another girl. For this one, she isn't worth it. What I think you should do is to write him a letter and explain things to him. Maybe he does not know that it was your cousin that you were with the other day. Also, his friends can be responsible for the act. Thank you. See you later. Testament by John Krishna. You mean you read such things? Yes. Strange. Well, yes. Um, for an average Nigerian girl, I mean, they prefer to read romance. <laughs> Since I don't have a boyfriend, this is what I like the best. And you still haven't gotten a boyfriend yet? No, but I'm still trying. <laughs> um, that, that is why I, I came. I, if you don't mind, I, I was thinking, I mean, I was hoping if we... We... Uh, we, we get together? Yes. Oh my God! I've been wanting you to ask me. And what's the... Uh... Did they answer? Yes. Yes! I've been a fool. Uh, why haven't I asked you all this while? Do you know what? I thought you would never ask. Since you started dating Abigail, you know, I, I felt really bad. But I don't really mind anyway. You don't mind? No, not at all. Aren't you going to read it? Uh. What does she say? She said the guy with her the other day is her cousin. And that she would like us to come back together. It's all right. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I, I'm thinking. Anyway, whatever the case is, just let me know. I'll be here for you, okay? And I think it won't change anything. <laughs> Ah, 
You don't go with my prophetic thing finish. We can be over. Well, are you Thank you, too hungry. <laughs> but why did you? <laughs> down. Yeah, no, Mr. Una, this job is still passing me with the video. Come on, come on. Whoa! Yo, bro. Give it to me. What is it now? Shut up! Oh, Sila! Let me see. Oh, Sila! My name is man. <laughs> you see my guy. What's he? What's the confusion in this now? That's him. This is what you have always wanted. Chuma, you don't understand. I have already asked you out. You what? She agreed. Mm. And she did not mind that Abigail wants to come back. Oh, Zilla! <laughs> Let me tell you something. Some people say that Uju is the hottest thing in this school. Come on, Osi. Do something, Osi. Do something, bro! Do something! <laughs> Abigail finds out. You are history. You are a fool. In fact, you are a prop. Who will tell her? You? Of course not. Now tell me, if Uju wants to date you and she does not see any problem in Abigail coming back, how is that a problem? Abigail gives you the love. Uju gives you the work. And you win all round. <laughs> what could be more fun, bro? What could be more fun? Oh, <laughs> well, see, something tells me that you are heading for a lot of fun. Oh! I was told that um, you sorted out your problems with Osita. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> and how is that your business? Um, as I was saying, my sister, he told me that you wrote him. You read the note? No, I didn't. But he told me what was inside the note. And I advised him to come and sort it out with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you, you too. <sighs> Anyway, um, I'll see you later. I'll see you some other time, okay? Bye bye. Take care, okay? Yeah. Since when did this relationship become public property? She was just showing concern. The concern of a shark. All she wants is to dig her fangs into Osita, can't you see? No, I don't think so. There's nothing wrong in being friendly, is there? Mm. Let's go. And if I don't marry you for anything else, I will marry you because of the works. You, don't you ever think of something else? Every time works, 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 works. <laughs> for Christ's sake, what else can a boy and a girl think of? The huh? final exams are coming up. Have you sat down and read? Every time A B comes here, we always read. But you, it's always... Oh, please, please, please! Give me a break and don't start that stupid comparison again. If Abigail was something special, you shouldn't have left her in the first place. Look, don't you ever say that again. Because if you do, that will be the end of this relationship. Eh? You can go to hell for all I care. Me? I'll see you in school.
What happened between you and Uju? Don't mind that stupid girl. That doesn't answer the question. You want to start your own again, eh? Where is Mama? She went to Enugu. And she will not be coming back till tomorrow. What do I offer you? Nothing, thank you. By the way, what was you doing here? What kind of question is that? If you are my boyfriend, I have a right to ask. So because I'm your boyfriend, I don't have the right to have friends anymore? I have not said that. And what makes you feel I'm your boyfriend? What? What? Musita, we have gone through this before. We agreed on no sex before marriage. You agree with yourself. I'm not a part of that agreement. Look, Abigail, I, I have made up my mind. I can't go on like this. If you don't want to give it to me, then I'll go and take it from someone else. And if you don't want, you can leave. And that somewhere else will be in the arms of you, I suppose. You see, that is one thing that is seriously wrong with you. You have a suspicious little mind. Uju has nothing to do with this. Neither do I have anything to do with Uju. And if that's what you have come to tell me this morning, you can as well leave. Sita, please, don't do this to me. I can't live without you. Then why are you asking stupid questions? I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. has left us sad people. If you want this relationship to continue, I, I want to I want us to do it my way now. But you said you love me now, don't you? Yes. Then prove it. Now. I will get into trouble. Oh, stop being childish. A full grown woman now, and you should behave like one. Your mother. Yeah, she's going to a new one. I told you she will not be coming back to tomorrow now. We do play game now. Until the one. They will not cross now. We play a game. Ha! Amen. Tell this thing to start. Go to cross start. Hold on. Hold on. If you have not realized in any time that you're in final year and you have registered for your final exam, tell him. In the next two weeks. Tell him. So not even the principal, no anybody can stop you. No. If I give can I can play briefing in this class and nothing will happen. You feel? Yes. Death and destruction will befall you. This boy is going to have fire. Okay, and you not think that when I'm going, I'll go, I shall take some of you. <laughs> like the big BK teacher will say, the devil will have started you with a twine. You will grow and behave like a swine. swine. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We're going to play the news for you. What? Then what is the news? Over the weekend, mm -hmm. Mama traveled. 
and I invited you to over her. Hey, the way we are going with her now, she will soon give birth to quadruplets. What's it? Um, is that the news? Nope. After she left, he became a... The man! <laughs> What's that? Give me this news. I want to I told her, if you refuse me touching you now, this relationship is over. No! No! Let me have news. You know, she started begging. She went on her knees. She started praying. What she means? What she means? I love you. What she love I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. But that is not the news. And then, what is the news? We did it. We slept. We finally slept. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Are you saying? You now know her in and out. She slept with me. Man, that girl has been right all this while. She's a virgin, you must confess. Do you know, I'm her first. Mkemka, you seem not to be happy about this. Why should I be happy? No, tell me, why should I be happy? I should start some assaulting like Julius Arawa. Over a guy that has been dating a girl for the past two years and suddenly just slept with her. No, no, tell me, is that an achievement? Is it an achievement? Tell me. Your friend thinks it is. Maybe I should have gone out with you when you asked me to. At least you would have kept quiet about it. Kenka, you asked AB out. Osta, it wasn't intentional. Those are the kind of friends you have and they will lead you to failure. Thank you, Osita. I thought I was going out with somebody who was different. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Forgive me, and I will be free indeed. Uh, Abigail, I'd like to talk with you. About what? Please don't make this more difficult than it is. You can say whatever you want to say. I'm listening. Not here. If you want to talk, you better talk here because I am not going anywhere else. Then Helen should excuse us. What for? We need some privacy. Oh. When you were running off your mouth to your friends, anyhow, did you not know there was a word in the dictionary called privacy? And how does that concern you? You will soon see. If you have anything to say, you better say it here because Helen is not going anywhere. Anyway, if that's the way you want it. I came to apologize for telling my friends what happened between us. I guess I was just carried away. I've heard you.
came out from lab. I don't think I should give it to you. To understand it. You don't understand what? He tested positive there. That was so pregnant. Come on, patient, my dear. This kind of letter puts girls into trouble. Mama, I'm not getting into any trouble. I didn't even reply the letter. I have not said you replied it. You see, boys are after one thing. And once they get it, they quickly disappear, leaving you with a protruding stomach and the burden of childbearing. Mama, nothing will happen to me. Madam, the first thing we have to get straight right now is that your daughter is pregnant and by the rules of this school there is no way we can allow a pregnant woman to sit for any exams please you can't do this to us if she doesn't take her final exam see six years she's spent in school is a waste Please allow her to take exams first, please. Get up, madam. And don't embarrass yourself. I didn't set the rules. The school board did. And those rules cannot be reversed. Abigail. You see what you've done to yourself, Abigail. You see the money I spent on you is not a waste, Abigail. I remember I warned you. Abigail, I want you. I want you. It's okay. It's okay. Is this the boy that is responsible for your pregnancy? Yes, sir. He's the one. He's the one. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm not responsible for my pregnancy, sir. I wasn't the only one who slept with her. What? The other boys and I can produce them. That's not true, sir. That's not true. You want your reward. What is that why you say it? You know that lie. You know that lie. My boy is a good boy. He does not lie. Eh? Even if he slept with her, she must have led him on. Kezaya. Eh? You say you can produce others who slept with her. Yes, sir. They, they came with me, sir. Oh. Call them in. And you, wipe your crocodile tears. Yeah. When you were indiscriminately jumping into people's beds, you didn't know you would get pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Do you all uh, admit to have slept with her? Yes, yes sir. Sir. <laughs> She's always looking for who to sleep with. Mm -hmm. she, she never had enough. That's a lie. That's a lie. So they're all his friends. They're all his friends. Shut up, you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're a disgrace to this school. <laughs> Thank you. You slept with all of them, one after the other. Madam. There's no way we can determine the paternity of this baby right now. We have to wait till the baby is born. You mean she won't sit for the exams? That is what it is. No, you, you can't do this to us, Principal. She's the only daughter. I don't have any other person, please. Uh, let her just sit for the exam. Mother, there's nothing I can do. Oh, please. I cannot please you. Oh, I cannot no. help you. Don't be getting yourself. No, you won't. Please. You just allow her to take just the exam. That, 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 that is implicating. Mr. Sitadike. Oh, yes. Come this way, please. Mr. 
Mr. Sita, you wanted a second opinion, and you have it. There's nothing wrong with you medically. Basically, this means that both of you are able to have children. Then why are we not having them? Look, doctor, for eight years now we've been married. No issues. Everywhere we go, they keep telling us we are okay. I mean, where are the babies? Maybe you're being too anxious. Well, I should. I mean, who won't be if you're in my shoes? You? I know you should. Maybe if you lay back a little and slow down, things might be adjusted. I'll put you on medication. Fertility drugs, as they are called. Let's watch out and see what we have. Well, doctor, if you think that can help, then you do not know what we have gone through. You don't know where we are coming from. Anyway, thanks for your assistance. Okay, we are grateful. Would you next go? my wife to come about your second opinion. No, Sita. No, it's not how you think, please. Doesn't matter what I think. What matters is that I caught you in bed. No, no ex -wife. I wife. I swear. She was the one that seduced me. Sedu How could I have made this type of mistake? Who 
Jose, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't bother coming back to the house. Just send someone to come and pack your loads. With my lips. <laughs> through hell in the hands of Oju. She has slept with almost everybody that I know. And on top of that, we've, we don't have an issue. And I'm beginning to think that the fault is hers. <sighs> My son, that type of woman is not good for the marriage institution. And I asked you before you married her time without number, didn't I? Didn't I, Yosita? Now see what you have brought on us. Eh? If the news spreads, I am going to be the laughing stock at the next women's meeting. Oh. Mama, oh. I, I, I came here for a solution. Your only son has marital problems, and all you can think of is the oncoming women's meeting. Uh, anyway, I sent her packing. You did what, Yosita? You. Osita! Osita! As a man of God, the last thing I will do will be for me to advise you to divorce. Because the Bible says that the only reason a man has to put away his wife is when she commits adultery. But Father, that is what she has committed over and over and over again. I know. I know. But remember, if you put her away, you cannot remarry unless she dies. Father, I don't know what to do. My life is in shambles. Well, you see, sometimes people are responsible for their own misfortune. Have you ever sat down one day to think about your relationship with people, especially people who love you. Perhaps if you do, that will be the solution to your problem. I don't still understand, Father. I don't understand. Oh, Sita, I will be praying over your problem. And I believe with time, God's will will be done. Look, Helen, I need to find her. That's why I came to you. I, I, I need to see her. Why the sudden need? The last time around, you never wanted to have anything to do with her. I mean, where were we after all these years? Helen, the last time out, I was only a little boy who knew nothing. Now I know I've heard. Look, Helen, we all make mistakes. I have made mine, and I'm willing to make restitutions. I mean, I'm willing to make amends. Amends? Yes. You took your final exams and you left town. Did you ever imagine what happened to Abigail and the pregnancy she was carrying for you? No. Because of you, she couldn't write her final exams. Father, Lord, what have I done? Um, Helen? What happened to the baby? When you see her, you ask her yourself. Okay, okay, please help me. Um, help me. Tell me how to find her. Please. You know, I have a very good mind not to tell you. Not after all the pain you inflicted on someone who genuinely loved you. Please, Helen, please. Just help me to find her. 
She's the only solution to all my problems. <laughs> problems? What are you talking about? It's a long story. I, I made the wrong choice for a wife. But I warned you, Sita. I did. Uju could never have been a good wife. Now you see that there is more to marriage than just being good in bed. Well, Abigail has two houses. One in London and the other in Lagos. I'll give you her addresses, but what I can tell you is where she'll be at the moment. Um, um, Helen, is she married? Oh, sit and save the questions! Chief Gabriel, one of my business partners. How did you get this address and Chief Gabriel's name? And why are you so desperate to see me that you had to lie? Helen gave me the name and the address. See, we both figured out that after all that, I don't to you, the, the man. Uh, well, what are you doing here? I came to apologize. I came to apologize for all I've done to you. There are some things I have chosen to forget. Please, don't bring back painful memories. Darling, who's that? Darling. I hope I have not interrupted anything. Friend from the old days. Sita, my husband, Reginald. How do you do? How do you do? He was just sleeping. Don't you? Did you tell him? Tell who what? About the boy, Stephen. Stephen is not his son. He lost every right to be called his father when he abandoned us. Stephen does not know him as a father and will never know him as a father. Abigail. Abigail. That boy is going to grow up someday to know that I'm not his father. He's bound to ask questions. So what do you tell him? I'll wait till that time. But Osita will never have any rights where Stephen is concerned. Abigail, don't be stubborn. We have all made mistakes in the past. 
But th that does not mean we have to live with them. Excuse me, on whose side are you? On yours, sweetheart. On yours. Listen, honey. It's just that I do not want to see you immersed in any protracted legal battle. Nobody gets the cost of a child just like that. Nobody. Tell him that way you gain control. The best he could get is visitation rights, and that's it. If you wish, please think about it. Osita. Oh, Abandoned me when I was at my most vulnerable point. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I'm not responsible for my pregnancy, sir. <laughs> I wasn't the only one who slept with her. <laughs> what? There are other boys, and I can produce them. That's <laughs> not true, sir. That's, That's not true. true. It was the only one. What is that why you say it? It's not for that day. The God sent you my way. I probably would have taken my life. How do I get to move from here? If you go down, do it. You turn by right. Uh, if I go down, uh -huh. eh, then I turn uh, right. Turn eh? right so. Thank you very much. People are going to school. Eh? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Eh? Bye bye. bye, -bye. All right. I get to Omovia, there's a, an important seminar going on at the town hall. And I'm supposed to be one of the guest speakers. Oh, you're almost there. Just go straight down. You'll see a T-junction. Take yes. the right turning. A few meters away from your initial turning, make another right. Then a left. That takes you to Omovia Village Square. From oh. there, you will trace the town hall. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Sorry to bother you. Um, you seem to be going my way. Why don't you come and let me give you a ride? Oh, don't bother yourself, sir. It was my pleasure rendering help to a stranger. Oh, I see. Well, anyhow, my name is Reginald. I am Abigail, sir. Oh, come on, Abigail. Why don't you allow me to show appreciation? No. Eh? no. Normally a busy person, so say what you want to say quickly. I have a lot of work to do. I have found out 
that Stephen is my son. And how did you do that, if I may ask? Helen and your mother confirmed it. I don't see how that helps you. It doesn't make anything easier. Neither does it really make you Stephen's father. No, Abby. I've not come here to fight you. So what have you come here to do? To remind me of a past I have forgotten? Please, A.B. I have not come here to fight you, nor lay claims to Stephen. It's enough to know that Stephen is my son and alive. All I came to do here is to ask for your forgiveness. I know I have wronged you terribly. I was only a frightened little boy in trouble. I was also a frightened little girl in trouble. And all you had to do was lie and label me a prostitute. It was the wrong thing to do. It was Ken's idea. Oh, so it is your friend Ken who did this to us. He stole my innocence and my peace. Our peace, Amy. Four years of my life was wasted, Osita. Four good years! Why? Because I loved you! Please forgive me, Amy. I, I, I can't go on like this for one more day, knowing how much pain I've made you to go through. Please find it in your heart. I never wanted to hurt you. It's all right. It's all in the past now anyway. Get your lawyer. Let us work out the station rights for Stephen. I don't need a lawyer. No. Whichever way you determine it, let it be that way. Oh, sister, don't come too close. I'm a married woman now, and I love my husband. I know. I understand. Baby, God has given you a very kind heart. You are the best thing that ever happened to me. You still come. Rosita. You are free to drop in any time and visit Stephen. Thank you. Mommy, you must I go? Yes, my dear. <laughs> you have to start spending some time with him. Listen, we're not saying you should go and stay there or leave there, but just spend some time with him, okay? He's your father. Yeah, what mom said. Yes, Dad. Mm, look here. You remember what we used to say? Yes, Dad. Mm? Use the opportunity. I'll learn something new. Good, that's my boy over here. Ah, good boy. Now you listen to me. Mm? When you get there, you have to be a good boy. What did I say? When you get there, you have to be a good boy. Mm, that's it. It's just for the weekend. Did you hear what mommy said? Yes, Dad. Just for the weekend. Alright? Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he ready? Yes, he is. Go on, Steve. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Just help me bring him back on time on Sunday. He has to go to school on Monday. You have no problems. <laughs> it's all right. I'll see you. Please do take care of me, man. Bye. Bye.
Bye bye. Love you. Love you too. Holly. Look at you. Who am I seeing? It's a lie. Osita de Madike. Nkenka. Konima. Look at you. <laughs> I'll report you to the labor prefect. I was not sent here to become a laborer. <laughs> Give it to me, man. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Yes, man. Oh. Give me a hand. Let's let's sit out here and talk like old friends, real old friends. Come on, find out. What do you mean? Do you have a family? That bitch never gave me the opportunity to have one. What do you mean? There was supposed to be a normal marriage between the both of you. How did it just end up like that? She's a bitch, and you knew. I married her thinking with time she would, you know, change, change uh -huh. you know. But I was wrong. Would you grew wilder and wilder? And when I couldn't take it any longer, I had to send her back in. Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You know, I'm really sorry. You see, because, um, if I look back, I remember that I was among the persons that encouraged you to stick by Uchu. If I had known, maybe you would have just nicely settled down with Abigail. You're right. That is one woman I'd never have. What do you mean? Have you tried to locate her? Yes. So? And she's married. She's happily married. Wait, wait, what's that? She was pregnant. What happened to the pregnancy? Yeah, it wasn't easy. But I'm happy to tell you here that the product of that pregnancy is right now in my house. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't say. Yeah. Are you saying you walked into her from nowhere? She allowed you to take away the baby just like that after all we did to her back in school? No, it wasn't easy. It's not like that. See, the baby is a big boy now. Yeah. And the only child of their family. I see. Ostita. This is the time. That is that high point you've been waiting for. This is the point you've been waiting for to prove yourself like a father. Take charge of your son now. Prove it that you can be a father before it becomes too late. Or else you'll lose him. Just think about it. I've been thinking. I've been thinking. 
Anyway, it's good we're meeting again. Let's drink to it. Cheers, man. Toast? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So, how has it been with you in business? Anyway, well, as for me, my old man died. Uh, I inherited a family business. I'm now in charge of the whole thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is my card. Ooh. We should keep seriously Whoa. in touch. Yes. Game card, the boy. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> You're a big boy now. We thank the Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah, let's drink, let's drink, let's drink. <laughs> And things can only get better. Who is that? Oh, Mama, what's that? Osita, please. Did I not warn you never to step this building again? Osita, oh, no, please forgive me. Don't annoy me! I said I was sorry. You're sorry for yourself. Be conosing. Osi, no. We all make mistakes. Eh? Please give her a second chance. Because Mama, there's no way she can live in this house again. Look, I don't want her in my life anymore. Look, I have a son now. Son? Yes. You remember Abigail? Which Abigail? The one that got pregnant for me. She did not abort the child. And that child is living with me now. Hey! That complicated my life, oh. Will I ever partake of the Holy Communion again? Mother's Union. Women prayer meetings. Hey! I've not brought Stephen back yet. Really? That's strange. It's 11 p.m. And my mind tells me something is amiss. Then why don't you call him? I didn't even remember to use the phone. Yes, who's this? Osita, oh, it's me, Abigail. Oh, hang on. Uh, Steve. Yes, Dad. I'm going inside, I'll see you. Okay, thank you. Good boy. Oh, yes, yeah, so what can I do for you now? It's 11 p.m. And I told you to bring Stephen back in time for school tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> look, 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 Abigail. I have my son now. And you're not seeing him again. He's never coming back. Oh, sister, what did you say? Oh, look, I would, I would appreciate if you stop calling this number again. Honestly, okay? Thank you. What did he say? Huh? Talk to me, Abigail. Is Stephen all right? What's the matter? Who be that? Who be that? 
something for him to eat. Yeah. Let me just give it to him. Let me see him and know that he's all right. What do you mean by know if he's all right? Did my son tell you he's dying of hunger? I think you've come here to insult me. Please, I'll advise you to leave. I know he's not starving. This is his favorite food. Please, let me give it to him. Get out. I say, get out! Uh, what's it? Uh, what is going on here? Huh? Imagine her bringing food for my son, Stephen. Maybe she thinks we are starving him. No, 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 Mr. There's nothing wrong with her bringing food for her child. Anyway, since you won't allow her in, you can collect the food from her. Thank you, Ju. Leave. You're enjoying it. Hmm? <laughs> what is it? Your stomach? Your stomach? Yeah. Okay, have some water. Just have some little water. What is it? What is it? Your stomach. It's okay, just relax. You know you've not eaten since. Probably you're very hungry. Hmm? Stevie! My stomach is wet. Stevie, what is it? Suddenly started complaining of stomach pain. 
Vengeance is mine, says the Lord God. I will avenge. Oh God, may the killers of my son Stephen never go free. Pursue them. Seize them. Let no one come to their rescue. Let them die in shame. Only God's fire attack. I'm oh. 